Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> okay, so today's our last day that we're going to be doing this type of a format for our Miracle Morning, but we are all going to continue doing our Miracle Mornings, right? <laughs> That's the plan. And Hal, so Hal, Hal Rod, is that how you say his name? So he's the guy that actually wrote the book, Miracle Morning, and he's got a pretty interesting story of like perseverance and adversity and all of this and how he's overcome and he's like super in his life. And so the book is actually really interesting. I, I bought it on audible. So I've listened to it. I haven't actually read it, but um, he has a bunch of really good stuff on his website. He has, so I'm like a terrible snoozer. I have a huge snooze problem. <laughs> And he even has like all these snooze proof tips and cool like worksheets that you can use in your miracle morning to be more focused and everything. So he has all that kind of stuff on his website and then his book's really good. Um, so if you guys really want to get, learn more about the miracle morning and how to really apply it and get the most out of all of these different steps, and you can, of course, get that. And there's so much on YouTube for the Miracle Morning also. Like, so much. Like, I posted that video of the brief, like, intro and description of it. But there's, I mean, there's so much on his YouTube channel and other people talking about it. So, it's good stuff. Okay. All right, so we're going to start with our five minutes of silence. So I'll get my timer going. Okay, so we're doing our meditation or relaxation or prayer, thinking about gratitude. Ready and go.
Okay. Hope everybody enjoyed the silence part. <laughs> was it, oh, I can't remember who it was in the group, Aubrey, that posted that they had listened to the recording later and that the silence part was their favorite part. You know, because... Um, Nikki. Oh, yeah. Nikki, okay. Because mm -hmm. we so rarely just allow ourselves to be quiet for a minute and think or reflect. So it's kind of cool. Okay, so now we're going to do, oh, Cindy's baby's up. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do our affirmations now. Have you guys been, have you guys been liking the affirmations part the last couple days? I think I, I like them. I, it's hard to remember to do them throughout the day or anything like that, but I like doing them in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, you know, I encourage people cause, um, I work as a clinical psychologist, so I do therapy. And so, of course, this is something that I encourage, like, so many of my patients to do. And it's funny, I always, um, oh, hi, can you hear me talking? <laughs> um, it's funny, who's seen that? Is it, it's either a Saturday Night Live, I'm pretty sure it was a Saturday Night Live skit from, like, the 80s or the 90s where the guy's like doing affirmations and he looks at himself in the mirror and he's like, I'm good enough. I'm strong enough. And gosh, darn it. People like me. Do you guys know that <laughs> skit or whatever? And like, it's so corny and cheesy. And I think people feel so silly doing affirmations, but seriously, it's so powerful. And just to have them like written down on a little note card or something like that and like put them up on your mirror in your bathroom and put them up on your, you know, fridge in your kitchen or whatever and just have them somewhere visual where you can see them. Cause you're right, Cindy, like it's hard to remember to look at them or think about them unless we remind ourselves. So we need some kind of a cue to remind ourselves throughout the day. And so, but it's so helpful to just stop and sit for a second and reflect and take a breath and do some affirmations in our head here and there. So to try to figure out some kind of a trick to remember to do it a couple times throughout the day, because it only takes 60 seconds to go through and take a couple deep breaths, say your affirmations out loud, but it's so helpful. Okay. I, um, I had mine written down on my bathroom mirror, like uh -huh. I the dry erase marker. And so I did that in February and like, and I didn't do it in March and I could totally tell a difference. Oh yeah. Like me not like, cause I would just go in there, like going in there to get ready for the day or going in there to go to the bathroom, like however many times during the day. Yeah seeing that like I didn't necessarily sit and read them all out loud each time but just like looking at it while I'm peeing yeah like, just getting that in my mind so many times like I could tell a difference between like my attitude and my mindset and like my home life everything mm -hmm. between February and March like yeah. it's a definite difference and I think that that had a lot to do with it because yeah. I focused on like good positive things as much mm -hmm. yeah so it seems like you need to write them down back in your bathroom and that's a good idea to we have a little separate little like toilet room in our master bathroom and that's totally something I, I should do is like write them on a card and put them up on the door or something because yeah when you go to the bathroom you're just like sitting there <laughs> Exactly. Times a day. <laughs> okay, so let's take our five minutes and do our affirmations.
Okay, so now let's do our visualizations for five minutes.
All right. Now we're going to do our 10 minutes of reading. My book. Okay. Whew. I just drank my Energize like right when we started this call and I'm feeling the tingly. <laughs> Got to go work out now. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll start the timer for 10 minutes.
Okay. So our last, our last one before we exercise is scribe. And I'm reading this personal development book and it's perfect timing because the last page I read has an, ex an exercise where I have to do a writing exercise. So this is perfect. So I'm gonna do that for my scribing task. We're gonna do, we're gonna write down, you can write down whatever you want. Yesterday I did a to-do list or things that I wanted to make sure that I focus on in the day. You can be writing out your affirmations on a little card to put them in your bathroom. Write down what you're grateful for, whatever you want. So let's do this for five minutes.
Okay, so our five minutes is over. That went fast for me because now little guy's awake. Say hi, guy. <laughs> okay. Um, what was I, I was thinking of something that I was going to say at the end. Shoot. What was it? I don't remember. I was going to say something so important, you guys, and I forgot. <laughs> oh, well, Way to go. I'll post it in the group page. Um, okay, so what's everybody's plan today for exercise? And Cindy, how was your hike yesterday? Uh, my hike was good. I ended up going to a different place, so I didn't have like an eight-mile hike. I had like a two-mile. Oh, okay. Awesome. <laughs> um, today, uh, we might just go run as a crew. The four service. Okay. Cool. Fun. How about you, Brittany? Did you do a workout yet today? I have not. I mean, we're getting pounded by some rain. I know. I can hear that. Yeah. I'm kind of loving that, but so I'm not sure if I'm going to run or it might be a downstairs workout kind of day. Yeah. Okay. How about you, Aubrey? Are you doing your quarter force today? Yep. Cool. What's your workout? Which one is it today? Oh, I had dynamic strength yesterday. So I think it's like probably MMA power or shred. Okay today but I so I haven't been like the sphinx blasters are the worst like they're so hard for me to do yeah. I don't know what this move is like it's like it kills your triceps like it's so good mm -hmm. but it's like a tricep killer but I have never been able to like feel comfortable doing it okay. and then in yesterday's workout I was actually able to like feel comfortable doing it so I oh. got a picture and I posted it in the challenge app yesterday of me doing it I'm like oh yes oh I don't remember seeing that I posted it late oh okay but awesome that's an accomplishment yeah <laughs> so it's, it's cool always so like. cool when you have to modify stuff in a workout and then you finally get to the point where you don't have to modify it anymore and it's like yeah so exciting <laughs> you like can feel yourself getting stronger yeah well, I'm just dying to go for a run, but I'm doing this three day refresh cleanse and I'm at like, it's just barely enough calories that I'm like on the verge. If I were to do a hard workout, I would struggle and be starving all day. So mm -hmm. I'm going to do yoga again today, but we've got our, our race on Saturday. So I'll probably run tomorrow and Friday. So I'm not really doing any insanity this week which is my program that I'm doing right now, Insanity Max 30. So. Cool. And you're doing the uh, Salt Lake one, right? On yeah. Saturday. Fun. Yeah. I've run the half marathon a number of times at this race, never the full marathon. But it's an awesome course. It's so fun to be downtown. They, like, close down so many streets. Ah! And have, like, a huge oh, yeah. Party that's so fun for the kids. And Addison and Guy are both running the kids' marathon this year, so it's going to be really fun. Cute. Yeah. Are you going um, to so I want I want each of us to in the group just sometime this week post about like this three day experience and how you felt about it, and if you're planning on keeping it up, I know I am. Um, but and what changes you? were able to like feel notice if you're able to be more productive if you liked it um, just within the group so that other people who are in the group that haven't participated will say like oh maybe I really should do that and go back and watch the video yeah good idea I yeah think I'm way more productive yeah yeah I mean I'm not I'm a morning person I just don't have to really get up like just has gotten up and walked past me you know and he leaves and goes but and he's always like oh you know lazy bones but yeah. I am a morning person but I don't have to get up and I'm always like well what am I gonna do because I have to be quiet I don't want my kids getting up at six yeah and then I'm like if I go work out and then they get up because I I got up then that's not productive and so it's just 
I just don't. Mm -hmm. And so I'll lay here sometimes or, you know, just whatever. But so it's been nice to get up. I leave the door shut. I'm doing my own thing for however long. Yeah. And then I, I walk out in the kitchen and then I start lunches and I'm, you know, but then I notice like five o'clock I'm like, Oh, I'm starting to get tired. Yeah. I've been out for like over 12 hours. Yeah. It's interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so Brittany, what time did you used to actually like get going? When I lived in Texas? No, I mean like, recently even like because didn't you say Jess leaves for work at 6 30 you don't want to wake your kids up so beforehand like if you'd be awake in your bed or something like when would you actually get out of bed and start going and moving and getting ready and everything like I might get up at 6 30 but I might just stay here in my like room I you know go put my clothes on wash my face okay. stretch stay in my room you know okay. kind of make my bed do mm -hmm. everything I needed to do on this part of the house because they're upstairs. Oh, okay. And then I would kind of come out because they usually need to get up around seven. So okay. it's not that much longer after he leaves. Mm -hmm. um, but I could get up before he gets, you know, yeah. gets going yeah, kind of thing. And so mm -hmm. it's like, yeah. yeah. So if you can figure out a way to get your workouts done before, before without – and then, and even, then I'm done for the day. Exactly. And that then, part. Because the savers, I mean, it takes a little bit, it's taken a little bit longer for us to do it the last three days, just because we're like chatting in between each one. But really, like if you spend five minutes on each thing in 10 minutes reading, it's only 30 minutes total. And then however long your workout is. Yeah. So, yeah. You can and then I, th things in your I think you can even save like the reading for in, at night when you're yes. trying to relax and go to bed and you're like, okay, yeah. well, I'm not going to read for only 10 minutes. I'm going to save yeah. that for later in the day. True. Um, mm -hmm. Well then that's, you know, tournament. stuff like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That kind of thing. You can like start your day for 20 minutes and you can technically do all of it in bed. <laughs> like if you can turn the light on and stuff. Yeah. I haven't moved. <laughs> well, and it beats like just scrolling through your Facebook feed. Yes. Oh, that's what it was, Aubrey. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> okay, so I watched this other training a few months ago about this guy. His name's Brandon Bruchard, and he has a method that he teaches people. He's a life coach and a business coach, and um. <sighs> What he talks about is, so he's done, he's not a researcher himself, but he's a, he gathers all the research on productivity and he works with like high performance people like athletes and fortune 500 CEOs and stuff like that. And so he's kind of put together this like program that he teaches people and speaks on and sells. And he does like a university where they like pay, you pay like a thousand bucks to be in his like training or whatever to like focus on this like productivity model and it's called five 50 minute habits so he talks about like these five like all like people who are successful in whatever they do do these things and he says like it's so basic and so simple but like why do we not do it and like if we were just to do these things we'd be so much more successful and it's like five minutes more sleep every night and fifth or I'm sorry, 50 minutes more sleep every night doing 50 minutes of like a morning routine where you strategize and exercise. And that's exactly what the miracle morning is. Mm -hmm. And then his other stuff too, or like take a, take a 50 minute break in the day to like relax or go for a walk meditation, do 50 minute blocks where you're super productive and then take a break. Like just really simple stuff. But anyway, what he talks about is he's actually gathered like a bunch of research on how like s checking our phones and our emails and social media, like first thing in the morning just decreases our productivity throughout the day. Um, and I wrote down the statistics on that and I can't find it, but it's something like if you in that first like hour that you're awake, if you're checking social media or you're checking your inbox on your email or you're basically letting your brain think about like all this stuff that everybody else wants you to do you de your productivity for the day decreases by i think it's 30 percent is what he said mm. and so that's something that's so interesting because um 
I mean, for like Aubrey and I, we both run our businesses on social media. So it's like, I know I'm like <laughs> constantly, like when I'm up, I'm like checking because I have like messages that come in through Facebook and Instagram, like overnight and emails. And I want to check my notifications on Facebook and stuff like that. As part of our business, that's like what we do is like we engage through social media, but like really like it can wait, you know, like just like someone in a job that's getting constant emails about stuff they have to do will like wake up. My husband will wake up in, in bed. He's like checking his email and then he's like stressing out about what he needs to do. And he's like mad that the customer's saying blah, 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 you know? And it's like, what Brandon talks about is like, don't do that. Like you need to focus on you and like what you want to do and what your intentions are. And as part of the morning miracle morning, you can spend those minutes doing scribing, which you can extend it more than five minutes and think about like, if you have a career or whatever, or you're in school or whatever, you know, if you have something that you have stuff you have to be doing, then you can spend that time scribing, actually planning out like, okay, this is what I'm going to be intentional about. These are my pro priority and that's okay to do, but you don't need to like actually be going in and checking your email and stuff because then when you actually start working, then you've already figured out what your priorities are for the day. So in your job, if you're like, okay, I have to talk to so-and-so and if they haven't gotten back to me today, I need to contact them. When you're thinking about that stuff during your miracle morning, then when you actually do start working, you can start with doing those most important things. And he said it like makes a huge difference. And I think that can be applied to anything. Like if you're, you know, like on my days when I'm just being a stay at home mom and I'm not working, like I can apply it on those days and think like, oh my gosh, I have to do the laundry today. And then when you start your day, you start with laundry. If that's your most important thing you have to do today, then you don't let every, all the other crap get in the way of being, because you're in charge of your day. And that's what the Miracle Morning helps us to do is to take more control over our life and to not be as reactive because we're so reactive in our society and we just respond to like what everybody else wants us to do. But if we really take the time in the morning for ourselves, then we're able to really be like, have such a better day because we're feeling more on top of things and more in control. Well, and like you feel, I mean, you feel better when you take care of yourself and when yes. you take care of yourself first, like then you're able to be a better mother, a better wife, a better homemaker a better teacher a better you know whatever things that you're doing mm -hmm. and that's out of the way at the very beginning of the day and yeah. so you don't need to like worry about that I feel like I just I could take care of everybody else and everything else I need to do without feeling like I need like minutes to myself like granted there are some days where I I need 10 minutes to myself, even after my miracle. Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> but it doesn't happen near as often when I take the time to do this in the morning. Yeah, totally. So, well, ladies, thank you so much for participating. And for everybody else who's watching this recording later, we hope that this is helpful for you guys. And, you know, it's hard to get up and do these things. And that's why Aubrey and I kind of wanted to do this workshop to – kind of selfishly too, because we want to be better at this. And it's so much easier to get up and do these things if we have accountability with other people. And so even though we're not sure we're going to do like the Zoom calls every day, we can still, <laughs> we can still. Like she's uh, talking. Yeah. <laughs> we can still check in with each other and see how we're doing. And I mean, we can do, like if you guys want to do this kind of thing again, we can. I mean. We can just hop on a Zoom, even just to be like, okay, guys, we're getting on a Zoom at 5.30, like, let's do it. Then, and we don't even have to chit chat, but just to have that accountability of like, okay, I'm holding myself to this. Like I said, I would be up at 5.30. I'm going to be up at 5.30 or whatever. So, yeah. Okay. Anything else, you guys? Well, don't forget to write your experience in the group. Okay. All right. Well, thanks, guys. Thanks, I hope everybody has an awesome day. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye.
Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.